Finally, there is a view that there is too much inter-party rivalry which is hurting the country because in certain areas we need consensus and people cite examples of when a new government comes, it sort of tries to undo what the previous person does exactly. and it sets exactly. us back. How do we balance competition with national interest? And then intra-party as well, there's also a bit of that. Even within the party, you are a, a senior person and there's already clamor for who's going to take over from the president, even though it's just starting. Again, what's your advice to MPP people about how they manage that process? Well, not just NPP, to our people, our nation. We, our constitution, national constitution, I believe is uh, astute. Uh, it shows foresight. Uh, so it enjoins parties to be democratic. Mm -hmm. There's an enjoyment there. It talks of sovereignty residing in the people. The sovereignty is not locked in government, not in the uh, institutions of state. It's in the people, the citizenry. This is why we vote. Uh, so that's one thing. And uh, you remember in my campaign, I think Twitter, said, Shall I was sitting there. Shall I sit I wasn't talking of you looking at, uh, say, the state's interest. I said, you, the person, look at yourself before you cast your vote. Because Voting is indicative or evidence of your power, which you are entrusting to the boy, the person you are voting for, to become president or MP or whatever. So if you give that power off without looking, checking that this is guy that will go and deliver well for me, then means you are, you are not there at all. So that's it. As to the rivalry, uh, there's something in rivalry, the checks and balances principle. I, we must uphold it because otherwise some smart aleck would grab it and run away with it and then all of us would lose. So the rivalry should be there, but uh, rivaling beyond uh, acceptable or questionable levels is what we should talk about. Um, but I would say our country is like blessed. The last election, you see now we have a split parliament. Whenever did it happen like that? Hmm. The people voting by themselves and somehow given a balanced parliament. The term is hung parliament. Majority in opposition. I think the difference is just about a seat or two. One seat. This would mean that the executive must quickly learn uh, to come to some uh, accommodation, the give and take spirit mm. should be in place so that the winner does not take all <laughs> like used to be the case. Mm. So uh, if the people of Ghana would appreciate this, people, individuals, all of us, and since we want to live in a harmonious society and uh, a state that is there for all of us, we would see how we use the checks and balances that should be the order of the day to govern ourselves. And when we can go it like that, then is there that the harmony you're talking about would come. Mm. Uh, so uh, between parties, uh, it should be fine. Within parties, it should be the same principle. Mm. With, uh, all the subscribers, the party people, the party belongs to all of us. We should use the constitution of party uh, to pick our, if you like, uh, uh, constituency executives, national executive, and then use our conferences or congresses. Same way, using our selective principles objectively for the good. We shouldn't go selling our birthrights. You do that, then you want to be a slave. And naturally, if you put a price on yourself and I buy you, then I use it the way I want. And nobody wants that. So I believe we've got the uh, laws in place. It's up to us as individuals to operate the systems. Uh, so we stop uh, the stop go things like, for instance, uh, uh, the, the busiest road, highway in Ghana, say from Accra to Kumas, the second city, and on to the north. We tried to do what we could. 
I go out of power. And for the remaining eight years coming after me, not an inch of road work was added to what we've done. So you know who is going to have an accident on that. It might be, with all due respect, your cousin, your son, your lover also. So we, we should mm. uh, shed ourselves of the, the mentality of winner takes all, or if you are not on my side, you are my enemy. No, that's not mm. the way for us to go. So the way the vote is going now, I think we are all being forced to acknowledge that the power is not locked altogether exclusively on one side. All right. We should harness power mm. to the benefit of all of us across.